Turkish for 200 years and got its independence on the 15th August 1947. The top 10 places which had significance during India's freedom struggle. Number 1. Barakpur, West Bengal. The famous armed rebellion of 1857 started from Barakpur when Sepoy Mangal Pandey refused to follow the orders of the British commanders. As new cartridges were introduced in their rifles in which they had to bite to load the rifle and it was rumoured that the grease used on these cartridges were of beef and pork which was offensive to Hindus and Muslims. At this point, the entire quarter of Sepoys refused to follow the order and this event was the start of the revolt of 1857. Today, there is a memorial park of Mangal Pandey in Barakpur. Number 2. Jhansi, also known as the city of Rani Lakshmi Bai. Britishers had annexed the princely state of Jhansi under the policy of doctrine of lapse, thereby refusing to accept the adopted son of Rani as the heir to the throne. When the war broke out, Jhansi became the centre of rebellion in central India. Rani Lakshmi Bai gave her life to save her land and today the fort of Jhansi stands as a tribute to her. Number 3. Calcutta remained the centre of Indian nationalism throughout the independence struggle. The Indian National Association was the first nationalistic organisation founded in Calcutta in 1876 by Mr. Surendranath Banerjee and Ananda Mohan Bose. Its objectives were to promote Indians in political, intellectual and material advancements. It was the fear of growing nationalism in Calcutta that Britishers had to shift the capital to Delhi in 1911. Today, Calcutta also is the cultural capital of India and is a mega city in the world. Number 4. Bombay An important place during the independence movement where the Indian National Congress was founded in 1885, later led by Mahatma Gandhi. It is here where Mahatma Gandhi started the Quit India movement at the Agus Kranti Maidan in 1942 and said the famous words, do or die, to the crowd of over 60,000 people. Today, Mumbai is the financial hub of India and one of the biggest metropolis in the world. Number 5. Cellular Jail After the revolt of 1857, Cellular Jail was established in 1906 in Andamans as a prison island where political leaders who revolted were deported to this remote island and were subjected to unimaginable torture. These islands were called Kala Pani, meaning black waters, as no one could ever come back to mainland India in that time. Today, it has become a tourist hub with pristine beaches, but a visit to the jail will surely give goosebumps and we shouldn't even miss the wonderful light and sound show. Number 6. Champaran In the year 1917, Britishers had forced the Indian farmers to cultivate indigo, which was used for dyeing clothes and not as a food crop, which worsened the condition of poor farmers, many who died of starvation. Gandhiji visited Champaran and saw the plight of poor farmers and started the Champaran Satyagraha, meaning non-violent protest, in which many prominent leaders supported, resulting in successfully giving back the control to the farmers. Number 7. Jallianwala Bagh, Amritsar It still ferry the scars from one of the bloodiest massacres in Indian history. On April 13, 1919, as Punjab celebrated the festival of Baisakhi, General Dyer ordered his men to open fire at unarmed protesters, killing thousands including women and children. Remnants of the gruesome assault can still be seen in the walls with bullet marks. 
after visiting this place today it is a reminder to all indians of the long and difficult struggle for freedom number 8 sabarmati ashram and dandi in 1915 when gandhi returned from south africa he settled in gujarat and established an ashram on the banks of the sabarmati river it is a place where the famous dandi march started by mahatma gandhi a non-violent protest against the british due to increase in tax he marched 390 kilometers south to dandi and produced salt without paying tax it was one of the biggest movement that started after the non-cooperation movement today the sabarmati ashram serves as a site to preserve the memories of the father of the nation number 9 Wagga border Punjab After the World War II Britishers simply no longer had resources to control India and had to exit India hastily and clumsily dividing the nation into two parts It became the biggest human migration as millions of Muslims trekked to the west and east Pakistan now Bangladesh while Hindus and Sikhs headed to the opposite direction The outbreak became violent and resulted in massacres, forced conversions, abductions, sexual violence and killings. Later in 1959, the lowering of the flag ceremony started at India's and Pakistan's Wagga border which symbolizes the two countries' rivalry as well as brotherhood and cooperation. Number 10, Red Fort one of the most significant monuments reciting the story of indian freedom struggle this mughal fort still continues to be the great symbol of indian history it is where india's first prime minister jawaharlal nehru first hoisted the independent india's national flag on the 15th august 1947 and gave his famous speech twist with destiny On this historic day when India takes her place as a free and independent dominion in the British Commonwealth of Nations I send you all my greetings and heartfelt wishes Freedom loving people everywhere will wish to share in your celebration At this historic moment let us not forget all that India owes to Mahatma Gandhi This very moment the dream of free India spread its wing and Bharat Mata was independent. It was the entering night of 14th and 15th August of 1947. Soon after the last viceroy of British India declared her free, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru moved a resolution and since we have been breathing free. Long years ago we made a twist with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom and pandit nehru took over free india as the first prime minister ever since jawaharlal nehru breathed his last Several leaders presided over the designated post Mr Narendra Modi being the incumbent